the economic collapse of America will have global implications as the nation's economy, the economies all around the world, governments all around the world are dependent on the dollar, the petrodollar as oil and energy is pegged to the United States currency. And when it falls, it will take the other currencies of the world with it. This global impact will be felt on every corner of the earth, particularly in the larger so-called industrialized nations. The trigger event can, for this could be simply the nations of the world losing confidence in the United States dollar. This fiat currency that's drowned in debt and debt and more debt. 18 trillion on the books, America's debt, but actually 200 trillion in actuality when you look at all of the unfunded liabilities and other debts that's owed. So your precious country is in bad shape. So walk with me for a moment. And let's take a look or should I say thoughts on what could occur. So you wake up one morning and you turn on the news and you find out that the United States of America and the dollar itself is losing value around the world. As nations like China and Russia and other nations decide that they no longer want to trade and more importantly buy up United States Treasury notes which is actually buying the debt of the America uh, Amer buying American debt they decide that they can no longer afford to peg their economy to the US dollar no longer afford to buy US Treasuries no longer afford to trade in US dollars and as a consequence, the United States goes to its old tricks of quantitative easing, which is just flooding the market with dollars. Print more money, their only solution. Federal Reserve Chairman dials up and say, print, print, and print away. There's an emergency meeting. United States President meets with the Federal Reserve Chairman, and they tell the Americans that everything is going to be okay, that we will recover, we will survive, we will rebound. Typical political talk. But the problem is, is that printing more money leads to hyperinflation. Well, what does hyperinflation look like? As you flood the economy with U.S. dollars, they become worthless. Supply and demand. More dollars on the market, print more money. The more you have of it, the less value it is. This sends prices skyrocketing as a result of this stock markets around the world begin to plunge 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 10% and then go into a free fall the United States the Chinese the Japanese markets 
crash completely. Biggest in history. All in one hour. Gold and silver skyrockets. Gold goes from 1300 to 1800 to 2000 to 4000 to 5000. The value of silver doubles and triples, quadruples within days and weeks. Press conference after press conference, news story after news story documenting this scenario. Worse than Lehman Brothers, worse than 2007. So how would this affect you? You look up a couple of days after the market crashes. A few days, few weeks. You go to buy some gas. It's $4 one day. $6 another day. $8 another day. $11.47. You go to buy a gallon of milk, $14.27. You go and buy a loaf of bread, $16.87. Companies lose money as diesel fuel prices skyrocket. The trucking industry folds. Deliveries slow down. Government services, because of the collapse, are limited more and more each day and each week. Government assistance programs, Medicare and Medicaid, can't pay out. Food stamps. are no longer being issued. I don't think they call them food stamps now. Uh, I don't know what they call them in your state. But the government food program comes to a screeching halt and dead end. Government workers are not getting paid. So they stop. You can't get your garbage picked up and other vital services police and fire those services become limited now the riots begin now your local grocery store is ransacked department stores Shelves are empty. Grocery stores, shelves are empty. The few that deci decide to drive their trucks to restock these places are being hijacked. The whole trucking industry shuts down. No more just-in-time deliveries for your local grocery store. Martial law is declared but limited because there's about 400 million people in the United States of America without vital services and access to food and in certain areas the water services become limited and in one area it stops, another area is limited. All these vital services begin to wane. No help is coming. This goes on two weeks, three weeks. 
now true desperation sets in. There are no gas stations. You can't go to the store. You have nothing to eat. Your cabinets, your refrigerator is empty. Starvation sets in. Roving gangs of armed men begin to encircle neighborhoods in search of those who may have some sustenance to survive off of and they plan to take it from you. In this situation, only the strong survives. And what can a woman do but scream and cry in a situation like this? A time like never before. A time of intense pain and tragedy. The death toll skyrockets. Population of the United States dwindles. In 60 days, you have a population reduction of about 10%. In 90 days, another 14, 15%. Six months skyrockets to death toll population decrease is at about 30 percent and continuing and increasing. Now, those at the sound of my voice, you've prepped. You have used and applied the wisdom that you have. Because I'm sure many of us, or even at least the majority of us, who would listen to an Ibmore video, a MIGTO video, a Red Peel video. If you're listening to the Hebrew Israelites that are out there telling you about the fall of America. And the coming famine and destruction in World War III. Surely you've been hearing these things. Surely you know what a prepper is. Surely you have your stock of canned goods and water purification and your hunting rifle and your handgun. Surely you have these things. So you're ready. 